Hey everyone, what is up and welcome back to the channel. I'm Heather. I'm Casey. And today we are visiting Cologne. We had quite a few people tell us to come to Cologne. So we finally made it after some detours. It took us a little while, yeah. It took us a little while. So we definitely need food. So mission number one today is food. Um, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bells on. Let's go find some food in Cologne. What did we find? Found lunch. Good night skin. So did you decide what you're going to get? Chicken burrito. Chicken burrito. Yeah, basic. So how was lunch? Um, it wasn't my favorite, but we had the nicest waitress. She was so sweet. I really liked her. What did you think of the food? Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, a little pricey for what it was, I think. Yeah, very, but very expensive for Mexican for food. Mexican, at, least from, yeah. at least by the standards of the U.S., that would be expensive yeah. for Mexican food. Like, uh, just the one chicken burrito was like 19 euro. Yeah. Dude, you got ripped off big time. It came with a lot of food. It was really the big. The guac was so. good. The guac was guac very was really good. good yes. Yeah. So, we are on to try to find the famous cathedral. I can see it over the buildings in front of us. You can see the little tops of it right there. So, we are headed that way. Uh, is it just like a video that shows you what Germany would have been like back in the 1920s? It's kind of hard to see in there, but people are in like a, a trolley with a VR headset and it's like a little ride through Germany or Cologne. Cologne experience yeah, in 1926. In, in the 1920s. I love that whole era, so that's pretty cool. There it is. That looks so much crazier in person. It is so much crazier in person. I wish we could see it lit up at night though. It doesn't look like you can go in today though. They got uh, like a big fence up and the doors are all closed. Man, so. this is so much more stunning in person though than I ever could have imagined. I, I Not that I didn't like it in photos, but I just don't think it read as magnificent as this actually yeah. is. The amount of detail and depth put into this is just insane. Ooh. Uh, the wind has really picked up, but it does look like we came around the side here, which apparently is, is the actual front, and it looks like we can get in. So they've got netting all over that, like protecting it from, yeah, protecting it, I guess. It keeps the birds off. Yeah, probably so. What do you think of the cathedral? <laughs> that is incredible. It is definitely worth the hype, lives up to the hype. Yes! I don't know, what do you think? Yeah, it doesn't even look real. It's crazy how it's just all individually stacked stone and I don't know how they did it back then. I, you know, it's beyond me. It's yeah, and I think amazing. going forward, because some of our trips right now are just kind of sporadic and unplanned a little bit. Um, so in the future, I'd like to do a little digging on what we're going to do and sort of the history ahead of time so that I feel a little more <laughs> knowledgeable when we go in because now I have so many questions, so many things I'd love to know about this amazing cathedral. So the thing is, we did have one mission today. Um, we're here with friends and they told us there is the Lint uh, Chocolate Museum, which we didn't realize we have family members who had been here as well. We didn't put two and two together right away, but um, it's the same one. So we are on a chocolate mission. Yes, we are going to tour the chocolate factory and probably get our dessert there. Probably get our dessert there. We haven't had dessert yet and kind of been saving up in here for for that. So we are on the way to Lent before they close. A little we'll heated outdoor seating. Yes, this is awesome because we'd love to be sitting outside so much of the time, but it's cold, so they've got the heaters they were thinking. 
I got it made here. Oh my gosh, look at the little cruise. I want to take a, a yacht. Gotta make a little more money before that. <laughs> I don't know if I'd call that a yacht. It's like a barge with seats. The smaller cathedral of Cologne. Is it a cathedral? I don't know. I'm just spitting out fake, fake news here. Fake facts? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Spotted. Spotted. Chocolate factory. Chocolate factory. Here we come. In sight. Soon to be in stomach. We're crossing the bridge into chocolate land. Yes. Everyone's leaving with all our chocolate. You see them eating it all. I'm jealous. They saved the best for us, don't worry. Better. They waited. I hope they still got some. They waited for us. Oh, look at it. It's like a chocolate little castle thing oh, that people are sitting yeah. on. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, it's, I think, is that the cathedral? Maybe. Is it? The oh, Losteria. Oh. Well, we could have just. Long enough for dinner. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> it's literally like a chocolate mold of the cathedral. Yeah, chocolate mold. Not a real chocolate, but. No, it's actual chocolate. This isn't fake. So we get chocolate as you enter the museum. And Brooke stole this one. Yes, our friend stole this one. I mean, no, borrowed permanently. So this says where cocoa grows. And we saw some plants from the outside. So we're thinking, yeah, we're thinking maybe there are actual cacao plants here. So I am on the hunt for everything in this museum to be edible, and I'm disappointed thus far that it's not. All right, we have entered the greenhouse with all of the cacao plants. You can see the cacao growing on that tree kind of in the corner. Are these just different, like, varieties and different... I don't think are these, these aren't all chocolate plants. No, these aren't. Yeah, it's like they're trying to give you a sense of where it might grow, like even regionally maybe, kind of yeah. some regional plants and in the wild. Yeah, there's a little camera over there he was saying might be a time-lapse camera to show it growing. So that's pretty cool. We've got a pond, a little baby fish. I think you just kind of walk around. All right, she's going for it. Can lift... Can you lift the cocoa? I'm weak, so we know what that translates to. That's as far as I got. I think so. <laughs> you wow. Now you're weak, spineless. Muscle man. Like it was nothing. So this here is just, um, again, kind of giving some information on cacao, and this is. Um, it looks like they're partnered maybe with WWF. And if you don't know about WWF, they do great charitable work for um, wildlife, the World Wildlife Fund. This is a charity that I actually have donated to quite a few times in the past. It's something I'm very passionate about. So if you're unfamiliar with them, definitely check them out. So this is who eats the most chocolate. And so far, Germany is the winner. All right, we're following the step-by-step -step process now of how it's made. So we're starting at number one, which is roasting, roasting the cacao. Number two is winnow, which we don't know what that means even in English. It's going to explain it right here. Crushed and the shells blown away. So the shells are blown away in this process called winnowing or brechen. Is it brechen or brechen? Someone let me know. Step three is to grind. Step four, mix. Can we just open this up and call it a day? Step five is to mill. Step six is to conch, which is this process right here. We don't know where number seven is yet, but we do know there's free chocolate up ahead. Still warm. Yeah. Step seven is tempering the chocolate, bringing it up to the proper temperatures. Well, we found step eight, but it looks like here the chocolate's being poured into the molds. Whoa, I picked up the entire bar. Just gonna place it down, and then it starts sorting them out, cutting them, and sending them down the conveyor. All the way to be labeled which you can see popping out and then she's grabbing the newly labeled chocolates right there. That's pretty cool. This is like chocolate art. This is my favorite part so far. <laughs> this is adorable. Yeah, they even have the, even have the pigeon. <laughs> they have the pigeon and you said it's to scale because they're massive here. It's very true. Okay, these panda bears are so stinking cute. 
And if you go down a little further, we've got dragons. We've got um, the little man in his uniform, horsey. And then look at these giant rotating heart molds. These are so cool. Rotating on this big machine. So just for scale, look at the size of this mold versus my husband. That is a massive chocolate mold. So here's the bunny, which isn't even as big as that um, Santa. And there it is fully, fully realized right here. That's pretty insane. Is that your favorite? Favorite. It's like old chocolate vending machines. Somebody had the right idea. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. No, look, look, you can do it. Try a chocolate vending machine. Get the caramel salt. That looks to be the only option. We're gonna find out. That's what I've my choice anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's watch it go. Oh, That's it. That's all you get. That's all you get. Three pieces. One euro. <laughs> I take it back. I take it back. We figured out that actually, see how that's a tree? Um, every euro helps plant a tree, so it's actually a very good reason to get a little bit of chocolate. So definitely <laughs> don't listen to my first hot take. Do the little carousel guy and get some chocolate. Then we end the tour with more free chocolate. Alright, we didn't get our own chocolate bar because they closed. We didn't. Um, that was kind of sad, but honestly the whole thing just made me want coffee. We're on the hunt. We're on the hunt for some good espresso with coffee. Maybe some dinner. We will definitely have to come back to Cologne too at another time. There's just so much here. We can tell that this is like a whole weekend trip we might need. So um, again, let us know in the comments what we need to do here. What would be fun, maybe unique, um, so that we can kind of plan out a full trip in the future. grabbing dinner. Yeah, this whole thing has changed from coffee to waffles to, I don't even know, it's to changed the, like three different times. To the only thing that we could Gas find club. open. <laughs> yes, the only thing, well, there was other stuff, but this looks cool and vibey and the walls in the back here. Really yeah, it's cool. super cool vibe. Um, and we have now this super cheesy chicken potato dish. As you can see, we're picking the tomatoes off. Yeah, we gotta get rid of the tomatoes. Cheese, chicken, and potatoes. Feels like a very German meal. What did we get? We got a chocolate souffle with ice cream, whipped cream, and chocolate, and more chocolate. Mm. And we already started. We already dug in. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay, so yeah, there you go. So we're looking at this sign over our lovely dessert and evening, and this is what. <laughs> it's telling us the translation is can we confirm is this accurate and are we missing something here <laughs> so we just left this boot or <laughs> we just left this food <laughs> we left we the food left, inside Lowen Ralph uh, uh, hotel and restaurant which was super super sehr lecker um, really good food the dessert was amazing the waiter was really nice. The ambiance was awesome. Highly recommend this place. I much preferred this to the earlier one, even though the server again, wonderful. Um, so, tell them where we're going. On to the jazz club. On to the jazz club. So, you have a very excited wife at the moment. Okay, so we tried to make the jazz club happen. It's just not the night for it, I guess, because the band doesn't start till 8.30. We're here with friends. We didn't plan to be out that late um, because we have a drive back. But we definitely want to come back to Cologne and probably film a whole video on just different jazz clubs. Yeah, we'll definitely make another day, day trip a bit and uh, get in the jazz club uh, next time we're up here. Next time we're up here for sure, but it was really, really cool. The Chapa factory was fun. Beautiful scenery, just 
there's so much to do. Again, it's kind of like Heidelberg. We feel like we barely touched the city. We would love recommendations, like we said, for coming back. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. We are so enjoying this, sharing with you guys, exploring new cities. We will be doing all sorts of living in Germany videos, both sit downs and out and about travel vlogs. Definitely hit that subscribe button as well and turn the notification bells on so you're notified when we upload new content. Yeah. And we hope you come along and have some fun with us. See you guys in the next See one. See you in the next one. Bye.